In the woods I went to walking In the woods I went to stumbling through the dark Well his hair was tied with ribbon And the staff he held it frightened way Hello y'all and happy Halloween Welcome back to Dying for Daylight I'm Brush for our Wind Dragon And we're on the final episode Previously on Dying for Daylight, Dahlia learned that the Sun Potion was created by Felix, the prop master for the circus. Felix knew his old enemies would be coming for the recipe. He divided the potion's recipe among the members of the circus troupe and told them to spread to the four winds. So far, Dahlia has tricked a piece of the recipe from two troop members, Tinderbell and the Glutton of Gilborn. Episode 4, Inked. I tracked down the glutton of Gilborn in Memphis. What Felix gave him wasn't a piece of the sun potion recipe, but a rare well's grease that was needed to make it. The cooking skills I learned in China in the 12th century finally came in handy. The one fly in the soup was that human, Johnny Ghoul. I caught him spying on me again in Memphis. Trying to figure out what he's up to. Oh gosh, that music is horrible. Agent 103729, Johnny Ghoul. He's a CIA agent? I knew he was too whack to be an ordinary private eye. 103729, the flagelli and vampires in the sun. The creator of the sun potion is Amon Silve. A medieval chemist turned vampire. Could Amand be the same person as Felix, the Cirque du Reblay's prop master? I'm not sure how this information helps, but it's interesting. According to legend, the Sun Potion was created by Amand Silve. Silve was an alchemist who sought out vampirism as a means to prevent his death by cancer. He had a young daughter who was solely dependent on, upon him and he refused to die and leave her. One of their habits was to walk in the dappled forest near their home in Poland. After his conversion, he invented the sun potion in order to continue their walks and to spare her the full understanding of his condition. He remained devoted to her until her death at the age of 92. This legend was considered myth until just recently. New developments, however, create a frenzy in the vampiric community with the belief that the Sun Potion I can't read that. See case about Alejandro Filoff. If it does exist, it must be kept from wide dissemination in the vampire community at all costs. The creator of the Sun Potion is Amon Silv. A medieval chemist turned vampire. Could Amand be the same person as Felix, the Cirque du Reblay's prop master? I'm not sure how this information helps, but it's interesting. That number again, 103729. The flagelli. Who would turn a human with bubonic plague into a vampire? That's insane. The flagelli live in the catacombs of Rome. The sect was created in 1350 during the time of the Black Death. Their creator was a vampire named Dr. Delagio. He was convinced that the plague would wipe out all humans, thus dooming vampires to starvation. In order to trick the plague, he converted plague victims just before their death. The horde of misshapen and disfigured vampires that resulted are true abominations. The flagelli are incredibly strong due to their age. However, they su suffer from terrible racking chills and eternal coldness. Many have committed suicide by walking into the sun to escape this torment. It is believed that they seek the sun potion in order to be able to warm themselves in the daylight. Use extreme caution. They have agreed to no treaty with humankind and have no compunction at taking human or vampire life. Their one known weakness is a fear of plague rats. Only known weakness. Personally, I love rats. But I guess everyone has their pet peeves. Well, at least now I know exactly who I'm up against. Agent 
The machine wants a code. What could that be? Okay. The creator of the sun potion is a mon uh, medieval alchemist turned vampire. Can a mon be the same person as Felix, the cert to relay's prop master? Some bees have such fascinating backgrounds. Of course, most are just as utterly boring as humans. Anyway, Amon loved to walk with his daughter in the woods. Did Tinderbell remind him of her? Is that why he left the flowers and leaves on her pillow? I'm not sure how this information helps, but it's interesting. The bees who are after the sun potion are called the flagelli. They sound like real fun guys. I guess I can count myself lucky I haven't run into them so far, but if I keep chasing the sun potion a clash is inevitable good to know they fear plague rats and god knows those are easy to find okay is it 103729 a member of the Cirque to Reblay troop has been spotted in Charleston near the harbor. Subject is a tattooed vampire known as Estrella. Proceed to the area and report. One of the troop members was spotted in Charleston. I'd better head over there. I'll take this fax to make sure Sherlock doesn't see it. Oh, good God, woman! That hurt! Hey, <laughs> Mr. Ghoul, I found your file. What's the CIA's interest in the sun potion? A file? I mean, file? What nerve! Someone must have broken in here and put that in my briefcase. I'm calling the management. You've had three strikes with me already. That's two more than most creatures get. You're so cute when you talk tough. Aw, how sweet. And I was just thinking you'd make such an attractive corpse. All right, I give up. I am with the CIA. I'm on the FANGS task force. We monitor vampire activity. Naturally, we'd be happy to see the flagelli leave the U.S. as soon as possible. But what about you? I looked you up. Dahlia of Rhodes? You have no particular skills or alliances. Poor me. Who are you working for on this thing? And why do they want the sun potion? Ooh, look at the time. Gotta run. Hair appointment. Wait. I want to keep exploring his room. Ah. Queen of Ink. Last, uh. Estrella, Queen of Ink. Okay. Want a beer? Or true blood? <laughs> <laughs> then don't ring the blasted bell! Arr! Pirate flags. How decorative. Black flag, surrender or die. White flag, we give up. Yellow flag, friend. Blue flag, SOS. Beige flag, safe. Purple flag, let's party. Orange flag, rescue. Pink flag, romance pirate. I don't know what color I need yet, but. That booth goes with the tattoo machine. Ooh! Get a tattoo. Oh. Ah, we don't know what tattoo to get yet. Yoo-hoo! Customer! He's really out. It won't be easy to wake him. Cats, ten dollars for free with tattoo. I wouldn't mind buying a souvenir, but I can't think where I'd wear a pirate's hat. Blood thinner? That's not something you see every day. Hey there, I'm looking for a vampire named Estrella. She's tattooed? Uh, ain't seen anyone like that! Ah, gotta hide out! Gotta hide out! Polly, be quiet! Like I said, ain't seen no one like that in here! There's a tattoo machine, so there's obviously a lot of people who tattooed come through here. 
guess. I think I'll take a little of this water, but it could be colder. That ice might serve a useful purpose, but I should get some water to put it in first. There we go. Got some ice water. Don't know what it's for yet. Oh no! Both the glutton and tinder bell have been killed. <gasps> the flagelli are on the same trail I am. Not good. The body of a vampire called the glutton of Gilborn was found at a barbecue shack in Memphis. He'd been decapitated. Authorities are concerned that it represents spreading violence in the vampire world. A violence that began in the BQ in New Orleans. The glutton was in a theater company, the Cirque Terrible. Just yesterday, another member of the troop, Tinderbell, was also found decapitated. Authorities are uncertain of the motives. Oh no! Both the glutton and Tinderbell have been killed. The flagelli are on the same trail. Hidden object time! You're found a pretzel. A pretzel. Oh, it's just talking about them being dead. Tinderbell and the glutton are both dead. It can only be the flick jelly. This is terrible. What if they find a trip member before I do and get part of the recipe? That simply cannot happen. I've got to stay a few steps ahead. I've got to find Estrella first. a horse hitch except for pirates. Kitchy. I don't need to use them. Thanks. Okay then. You must have noticed Estrella. I know she's been in this area. She can shift her skin to show different tattoos. Ring a bell? Danger! Danger! Gotta hide out! Polly! Hush! Listen, my dear. I don't know her. Obviously you do. Okay, he really doesn't know Estrella or he's lying. Either way, he's a dead end. What the? Thanks for waking up. I wasn't waiting or anything. Like to kill me? I'm Salty Sam. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a vampire named Estrella. She's kind of unusual. She has tattoos that she can shift in and out. That is unusual. Not a lot of vamps in the tattoo trade normally. What with your regenerating your skin during your sleep and all. Yeah, I know. In fact, I've only ever seen one vampire tattooed at all. Yeah? Who? Estrella. Yes. Can you tell me where she is? <laughs> I'm annoyed. Blackjack knows where Estrella is, but he won't tell me. What a reject. Even if he was a pirate in his human life, times change. Move along. Apparently it's impossible to make him talk. He probably has a thing for pain. This parrot seems willing to spill the beans. How can I separate man from bird? Is there anything I missed? Nope. When was the last time you saw Estrella? Oh, let's see. It was... last night. Last night? What did she say? She said, Wish I could get a new design, Sam, but I'm in a bad spot, and I ain't got time. She looked scared. Running from something would be my guess.
Can you go to Pirate this Alley? This is a nice secluded spot. I think I'll fix it up a bit in case I need it. Hmm. Oh. Didn't know anything with the basketball. Close, no entrance. Or no enter, I guess. <laughs> Well, so there's at least six other pipes I need. One, two. Fix the pipe to form one continuous pathway. The pipe pieces can be found around town. Drag a pipe piece from inventory onto a gold bracket to place it. Right click to rotate. To move a piece from one gold bracket to another, just drag it. Click anywhere. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it is just the first six I'm missing. I could take the dinghy out, but I don't know where I'd go with it. Mm. Oh, he's asleep again, poor dude. Mm. So that's Two, three, and four. Two and three. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's three. So where's two? I don't need to use them. Thanks. Yeah, but there could be a pipe we could use in there, but okay. Must be the second one. Oh, there we go. Congratulations, you have assembled the pipe! Hmm. What do you use blood thinner for, Sam? Guys, mostly. Some like to bleed more during tattooing. Makes them feel macho. You know, blood thinner is a serious laxative for a vampire. You don't say. Go on and take a bottle if you're in need. No, I'm not. Uh, never mind. I will take some. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, he's such a nice guy. One is He's his... still nursing that true blood. That's an opportunity. Waiting to happen. Did it work? Uh... This should be interesting. There we go. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I really gotta go. I... Hi, buddy. Do you know Estrella? Our pretty lady, gotta hide out. That's right. Where is she hiding, Polly? Oh, we want a pretzel. Okay, I got a pretzel for you. Good pretzel. Good. So glad you liked it. Now where is Estrella, Polly? Huber Flimbo! Huber Flimbo! Is there anything else I need to know about Estrella's hideout? Oh, you want a cracker? Ah. 
Okay. I'm sure Polly knows where Estrella is hiding, but she wants a pretzel. 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 Animals are so fo food motivated. Uh, Hoover Flimple, that must be the name of the ship where Estrella is hiding out. I asked Polly if there was more, but she would only beg for a cracker. Let's see if I can find you a cracker now. How much blood thinner did you put in there? Poor dude. Poor Blackjack. I feel terrible. No, you don't. No. Pirate flags. How decorative. I think these are the regulars in Charleston Harbor. Gross neglect. Ready, man. Hubert Plimple. Float like a bee. Bloody biscuit and the cutlass. The Hubert Flimple is one of the historic ships in Charleston Harbor. Okay. Evidently, I can go back to Memphis now. Drop some change. Dude's gone. Ah, it's object time. Congratulations, you have found a cracker! Uh, let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else to find right now. Oh, man. He's still in there. Ah! Flag is safe! Flag is safe! A flag, huh? Is there anything more I need to know? You want a peanut? I'm going to sell this bird to Monsieur Bobo, I swear. Well, he said flag is safe. I must need a safe flag for my boat. I'll try it. Hopefully, I can avoid finding Polly's latest request. This is a peanut. Polly told me which flag to use. I'll have to pick the right one. I need 50 cents to get the flag. I could bust this contraption, but no point in being mindlessly destructive and risking a run-in with police. Though it would be fun if I had the time. Hey. Where do I... Now I need to pick one. be the beige one. This is the flag I want. Okay. I guess I'll try this out. Click on the water to move the boat in the direction you want to go. I'll return to town, click on the pier. I see your flag, but the rest of you ain't right. Don't come no further. Okay, all right, sheesh. Stop with the cannons. Getting aboard the Huber Flimple isn't going to be easy. How did they know I was no friend? There must be some kind of signal or something. But that bird won't sing without more food. Gotta have costume. Uh, uh. 
Oh. Hi. That squirrel has a peanut. What have I got here? Oh. Here, squirrel. Drop it. Come on. A rock. Well, that didn't work. And it's too high to reach and not high enough to fly. Maybe I can scare that thing down. I can pick up the ball. Hmm. Oh! I'm surprised it came out here still in the shell. Peanut for Polly. Poor Blackjack's still in the bathroom. Hi, dude. Here, a peanut. Look for my Blackjack! Ah, my Blackjack! Of course. I need a hat like Blackjack's. Hey, that one should be free. Ah, Polly, want a red scarf? Oh. A what? Johnsy! Johnsy! Polly, want a red scarf? I guess it would look good with those green feathers. In fact, after we're done with this little game, I may just try to look myself. Green feathers and all. Rock, red scarf? Rock, red scarf? Oh, you made Polly cry. I have to wear a black pirate's hat like Jack Black Jacks when I approach the Hoover Fumble. I hope there's not much more of this. My hands are itching for that silly bird's neck. Now she wants a red scarf. Not Indeed. Here we go. That's the one. Hmm, I wonder if I could get a pirate's outfit. that I can see. There we go. Ooh, Johnsy! That word is needle my eye! Oh. Hmm. Never would have guessed that in about a trillion years. Is that it now, Bird? Is that all I need? Polly, good bird! Happy girl! You better hope I'm a happy girl, or you'll be a dead bird. Okay, guess I'll give it a shot. Okay, I got Polly a red scarf and she gave me the password. It's needle my eye. Please, in the name of all that is unholy, let this be the last clue. I need to get on that ship. Tattoo maker? They really have automated everything these days. I'm not in the market for a tattoo at the moment, but I'll keep an open mind. Okay. I need one of those pirate hats. I'll pay Sam later. Pirate hat! A little dress up can be fun, especially when impersonating bloodthirsty villains. Yo ho ho. They obtained and hats. So how do I put it on? Or do I just go out like this? I crashed the ship! <laughs> Ahoy there, friend. What be the password? Needle my eye. Aye, come aboard. I'll take you to the lady. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Dahlia. I came to check up on you. A few of the other Cirque Terrible members have been murdered. I wanted to make sure you were safe. 
Who sent you? Alex? Oh, God! If you could find me, they will too. I'm so dead meat. Do you still have your part of Felix's recipe? That stupid recipe. What's it to me, I'd like to know? Why should I risk my neck for a scrap of paper? Or that geek Felix? I'd have dumped it, but what good would that do? The flagelli would still come for me. Look, this was left in Blackjack's cabin yesterday. Oh my, you really do have a problem. I am so screwed. Estrella is to meet us in Pirate's Alley. Pirate's Alley just before dawn. If we have to go looking for her, many will die. I know. If you give me your part of the recipe, I'll meet the flagelli in Pirate's Alley in your place. You do that? But they know what I look like. I'm on the Cirque to read the poster. Good point. Guess I'll have to impersonate you. They'd never buy it. Sweetie, that look of yours isn't exactly hard. Tell you what, I'll go fix myself down, I mean up. If I'm convincing as Estrella, Queen of the Ink, will you do it? It's your funeral, but you'd have to be really convincing. Naturally. I found Estrella and she's about as loyal to Felix as a flea. But she has a problem. The Flagelli expect her to meet them in Pirate's Alley. In a moment of insanity, I offered to impersonate her. If she gave me her part of the recipe, I was bound to run into the Flagelli eventually. At least I'll get something out of it this way and I can see them on my terms. This one thing? I need to look exactly like this. Wow. Only time to use a tattoo machine. What? Okay. To impersonate Estrella, I'm going to have to match her chest tattoo. Uh, blue on the outside, white, and then red in the middle, and... Hmm. I don't think the colors are quite right. This tattoo has to be convincing. Oh, it's red. There, that'll work. Now comes the fun part. Ow! Uh, ow! All right, uh, ow! Ow! <laughs> Pretty convincing, if I do say so myself. Congratulations, you have made a tattoo! Okay, then. Sam's sleeping again. I'll leave him to it. Play dress up again. It's a little trashy for my tastes, but it's a straw down cold.
You again? I hope you got something to show me. Look at this. Wow. Damn, V, you are good. Thanks. Now, give me your part of the recipe, and I'll make the flagelli in Pirate's Alley. It's all yours. I think you got a screw loose somewhere, but good luck. Congratulations, you got Estrella's piece of the sun potion recipe. Estrella the Undead Canvas. Why should I risk my neck for a scrap of paper? Estrella's unique ability to fade in and out any tattoo she's ever had makes her a rarity in the vampire world. Too bad she can't make herself disappear. She's next on the Flagelli's hit list. You got this card after getting the recipe from Estrella. Great. Now all I need to do is figure out how to keep from dying. That and... There's scratching coming from that cabinet. This calls for a vampire strike. <gasps> Hello? These rats give me an idea. Let's see. I think I'll take the skinny one. Can't take all of them. Aw. This could work, but I'll have to find some materials to fix up the plague rat. Oh, turn this ordinary rat into a plague rat. Find four items to disguise your rat. You'll find them in different areas around the game. Okay. The flagelli fear plague rats. I, can s I can't say they're high on my list either. I can't find one, not in Charleston in the next oh, 30 minutes, but maybe I can make one. After all, I made myself look like Estrella, right? This little rat doesn't have nearly as far to fall. Sorry, rat. Okay. Uh -huh. I have a Estrella's part of the Sun Potion recipe. Three troop members confronted, three pieces get pained. Am I really doing this? I am. I'd be giddy if it weren't for the fact that I may well be decapitated soon. The flagelli in Paris Alley? I need a pan. Estrella certainly was in a hurry. She left some makeup behind. Ooh, that purple eyeshadow could be useful. I'll take it. The lady is a vamp, purple dust. Rare trophy acquired. This luscious nocturnal shade was taken from Estrella, the undead canvas. It will look so much better on Dahlia. Obtained an Estrella's layer on the hoover shuffle. Nice bruising, but I need some puffiness. Okay. I wait my make my way back to shore. You have to hand it to the parrot. She knew what she wanted. I admire that. Object time! Congratulations! You have found two cotton balls. Oh, swollen glands. We need some kind of green froth, green froth, and oh, we could tattoo. Oh my gosh, we're gonna tattoo this poor rat. Spatula. Whatever. Congratulations, you have found a mint jelly. Usually I see it in a jar, so it's just there. It looks a little weird. Okay. Gonna have to get you a tattoo, buddy.
I wonder if there's a tattoo in here that would be useful for my rat. aren't convincing. Mm. Oh, that's more purple. Those colors aren't convincing. No. Huh. Hmm, tricky. I guess our little rat friend is about the size and height of a foot. Have made a tattoo. That skin lesion is a nice touch. Okay, we're all ready, little buddy. Leg rat. <laughs> I'll have to meet the flagelli here. What would spook the flagelli? I should review the CIA file. I need a way to get him up there. Maybe I can do what I did before. Okay. There. I think, I hope, I'm ready. I'm such a good little rat. Is that a rat? <laughs> That'll do, rat. That'll do. Now, I just need to find four more members of the Cirque Terrible, and I could be shopping at Tiffany's. You know, I have the feeling I'm actually going to pull this off. To be continued. Congratulations! You have successfully finished this episode of Dying Daylight. Ah! Okay, this is all for the uh, first game, evidently. I don't know if they ever actually made the second game. Ah. So, um, hopefully I can find that and I'll definitely play it for you guys next year. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, watching me play this game this year, and, um, I certainly had fun playing it, although I'm a little disappointed there's this isn't the end. <laughs> Although, I'm excited that there's more to play. Thank you all for watching, and this is Brushfire Windragon signing off. Oh, it looks like, looks like I found the credits. Chorus sound of trumpets and the blaze it peace.